So you wanna make better clicker games, don't you? Today I'm gonna give you five tips that you need to know before you make your next clicker game. So let's get started. So the first step I wanna give you guys is make clicking fun. If you play a game, then obviously you want to have fun. And clickers aren't the most fun games on the planet, especially scratch clickers. Most of them are terrible. And to really put fun into your game, you have to focus on the main thing. The clicking, add effects, confetti falling from the sky, waves in the background and do all the crazy stuff. Just make the clicking more fun. Go and play a lot of clicker games and just take inspiration from the good ones. I'll link some crazy example projects in the description down below which you can check out and add to your clicker game. And let's move on to the next step. So the next thing I wanna say is that plan your upgrades. Now the thing that most scratch clickers lack of is variety. Like literally you will have 25 upgrades and all of them would be either cash per click or auto click. Which kind of works but you are here to make better clicker games, right? So just add more things. For example, you can add short term multipliers which simply doubles the value of cash per click for say 15 seconds. And by adding this, the player will click as fast as possible to take the full advantage. And I guess that's pretty cool. And also so you can add targets in those short term multipliers. Like if the player hits that target, he'll get something special. Maybe a skin, maybe another upgrade or maybe extended time. It's all up to you. Just plan your upgrades. Next step I have is plan your prices. Now this is as simple as it sounds. Just don't go for too cheap or too expensive items. If the items are too cheap, the game will end in like 2 minutes. And if expensive, don't think that the player will play for long and not get frustrated. To make it simple, just think before you set prices for the upgrades. Don't set them randomly. Next thing I notice in scratch clickers is lack of features. This is something that can really change your game. And it is as simple as it sounds. Just add more features. Add features like progress algorithm which in simple words is adding tasks. Add tasks which can be completed by clicking for a number of times and after that you can just turn your clicker games into any direction. If you ask me, I'll probably remove the shop and instead I'll give 5 upgrade options after each task and I'll let the player choose any two of them and also I'll add an end to the game but it's up to you what you wanna do. Now the last step I wanna give you guys is pretty obvious but it's pretty important and that is be unique. Now by this I mean that just don't copy from others. You are unique and remember that. And these are the top 5 tips that I guess are very important for you to know if you are making clicker games. And this was all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Smash like if you did. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.